What's up YouTube, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood fish keeper, and today I wanted to make a video about the nitrogen cycle. I'm going to try to keep it as brief as possible. Basically, I'm going to give an overview of the cycle, I'm going to give the details of everything that's going on, and then I'm going to talk about the summary. So, here's the nitrogen cycle. <laughs> Ultimately, you have inputs, which are food, outputs, which are nitrates, and the process, which is the nitrogen cycle. But then you also have, technically speaking, food becomes ammonia, which is turned into nitrates via the nitrogen cycle. That's the entire thing in a nutshell, and the details of the nitrogen cycle are what we're going to talk about today. So, I color-coded everything in this to be green as good, red as bad, and everything in between as everything in between. Fish are obviously green because, of course, they're the reason why we're doing this. They are the goodest thing of aquarium keeping. So, fish are green. You feed your fish food. That's the ultimate input for the entire system. The food is where all of the, the nutrients and the chemicals and everything in an action cycle come from. It's the food. So you put food into the aquarium, the fish eat the food. So fish can either eat the food and turn it into waste, turn it into ammonia by, you know, peeing it out, or the food goes into the fish, becomes solid waste, that solid waste decomposes and produces ammonia, or that food becomes uneaten in the aquarium, that decomposes, and then it also becomes ammonia. So there are a bunch of different ways to produce ammonia in your aquarium, but ultimately the nitrogen in the ammonia comes from the food that you're feeding your fish. So ammonia has uh, one nitrogen and either four or three hydrogens depending on uh, which form it's in. And that can depend on things like the pH of your aquarium, for example, but you don't need to focus on that. What's important to remember is that ammonia is red. Ammonia is the worst thing in the nitrogen cycle. It is super toxic to your fish. It's really bad. Ammonia will kill fish. Some fish are more sensitive to it than others, but ultimately it's toxic. You do not want it in your aquarium. So you produce ammonia. Now what do you do? Well, you have oh, some good bacteria. I tried to draw bacteria. I don't know why this is happening. Some good bacteria here. I tried to draw some bacteria, um, but basically, here's your good bacteria. And what it's going to do, this first bacteria, bacteria one, it takes the ammonia and it turns it into nitrites. So the first step of the nitrogen cycle, you have ammonia turning into nitrites via good bacteria or bacteria one, we'll call it here. So then nitrites, what are nitrites? Their chemical formula is NO2 minus. So it's one nitrogen atom and two oxygen atoms. What's important to note about this is that it's not quite as bad as ammonia, but it is worse than nitrates. So you don't want to have nitrites in your aquarium. Of course, it's better than ammonia, but it's not what you want either. It's a problem if you have nitrites. They're also going to be causing problems for your fish. So then you go through, oh, good bacteria two. And what this does is a separate bacteria species, it turns your nitrite into nitrate. Now nitrate, people say, you know, nitrates are you know fine, they're good, whatever. Too many nitrates can also cause problems for your fish, so that's why I left them yellow instead of green. But ultimately, nitrates, you can have some. You don't want any ammonia at all. You don't want any nitrites at all in your aquariums, but you can have some nitrates and you'll be fine. Nitrates have a chemical formula of NO3+. It's one nitrogen and three oxygen. Uh, so what happens to your nitrates now that you have them in your aquarium? Well a couple of different things can happen. One, you can have aquarium plants and they can take up those nitrates and use that nitrogen as nutrients and help them you know, do their planty things. Or you can do water changes and remove those nitrates from the aquarium via water changes. But whatever path you go through, you end up going from nitrates 
here to fresh water, which is obviously green, obviously good. And then the fresh water gets consumed by the fish. The fish produces waste into that fresh water, makes it dirty, and the whole cycle continues and repeats in ad infinitum. It's a really beautiful process. Happens in nature, happens in every lake, river, and stream that contains living fish, living animals. Every animal produces waste, and that waste gets processed by nitrifying bacteria, and it is just, again, the coolest thing in the world that this is possible. So, here's our summary. Num step one, you have ooh, waste. Step two in the nitrogen cycle, that waste gets turned into ammonia, either directly through the fish or through decomposition. Step three, that ammonia becomes nitrites. Step four, that nitrite becomes nitrate. Step five, that nitrate becomes fresh water either because you did a water change and you remove those nitrates and replaced it with nitrate-free water or because the aquarium plants took up those nitrates and didn't put them back into the aquarium, hence producing fresher water. <clears throat> so what are some tips related to the nitrogen cycle that you can focus on to help your fish? Well, one, live plants. Live plants are great for the nitrogen cycle as I just explained, because they take out those nitrates. Two, remove uneaten food or don't overfeed. I'm lazy, so I don't ever want to remove uneaten food. So instead, what I do is I make sure that I do not overfeed my aquariums. One way to do that is just to have a bunch of very hungry fish. Um, and another way to do that is to make sure that you feed foods that, oh, that the fish like fish eat very quickly and feed in small amounts rather than feeding all at once a huge amount right so you feed a pinch let them eat the pinch feed another pinch let them eat that pinch and keep going until they stop eating number three of course this is why you have to stay up on your water changes people will not do water changes and say they're oh my fish are fine it's fine it's not fine right your nitrates are probably building up unless you have live plants and so you're going to want to stay up on your water changes, even if it seems like everything's fine, because you're removing those nitrates from the system. And then, of course, number four, beneficial bacteria. The most important piece of this whole cycle, beneficial bacteria. You may have heard people talk about it in the hobby. This is what they're talking about. The beneficial bacteria is what actually does the turning of one chemical into the other chemical. You could not go from ammonia all the way to nitrates, unless you had this beneficial bacteria in your aquarium. Super, super helpful. And then here's my biggest tip. What people used to do back in the day, um, back when I started fish keeping, is you'd start out with an empty tank with no beneficial bacteria in it, and you would add fish, and the fish would produce ammonia, and then eventually you'd start establishing a colony of bacteria that turned ammonia into nitrites, and nitrites into nitrates, Today, we don't have to do any of that. You used to have to wait, you know, two weeks to add any fish, and you add a couple of fish, a couple of really, you know, hardy, uh, hard to kill fish, add them, wait more weeks, wait like a month, then add a couple of more fish at a time, and you keep doing that until eventually you have enough bacteria to support, you know, a full aquarium. Today, you can buy this fluval cycle concentrated biological booster which is what i use and what i now swear by and you can add fish instantly super 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 helpful huge change for the hobby really happy about it so anyway that's 10 minutes of the nitrogen cycle i hope you guys enjoy it i hope that made sense if you have any questions at all comments or concerns please be sure to leave them in the comments below um Leave this video a like if you found it helpful so that other people can find it. Subscribe to the channel if you think this is interesting and want to see more. Anyway, tank on. Thanks for watching and take care, guys.